everybody and welcome back to my learning space why should you learn fourth voicings fourth voicings are really good because they give opportunity to so much harmonic possibilities as opposed to when you have one chord over let's say eight bars or so as opposed to just playing one chord you can actually play one chord in different harmonic ways fourth voicings and inversions of fourth voicings allow us to be more diverse in the way in which we express one chord so uh, the information that i'm going to be sharing with you today is based off of how mccoy tyner plays on john coltrane's love supreme the way in which he uses the specific device of inverting fourth voicings i'm gonna show you how to do that today and i'm gonna be taking from um dudozo makatini's supreme light um there's a few ideas there that i really liked and that we might discuss at the end of the video so stick around for that so what i'm gonna show you today is let's call it the the basics for fourth voicings and exploring fourth voicings you can take these and you can just build on them in the way that you would like to i'm going to be working in the key of f minor so the mode that we are will be drawing from is mainly f minor pentatonic also we can use dorian mode or i would probably lean more towards saying f minor six pentatonic because that will invite the six the, the six sound anyway so for your left hand you want to use parallel fourths on the first degree which would be f b flat e flat parallel fourths on the second degree g c f fourths on the fourth degree that will be b flat e flat a flat and fourths on the fifth degree C, F, and B flat. Okay, these are the basic fourth voicing shapes. One, two, four, five. That you're gonna wanna use for your left hand when you're improvising or whether you're using it as part of a chord while you're comping. Now, in your right hand, you wanna take these same stacks, but you wanna invert them. So I'm gonna keep the stack on first degree in my left hand. And if I do the, the same root position stack in my right hand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inversion um, of the stack. So I take F at the bottom and I put it at the top while I'm playing this uh, clean stack in my left hand. And similarly, I'll take B flat and put it at the top, which will give me something, I guess, that you can call second inversion. And what actually makes it interesting is if you use parts of the pentatonic in your comping. So something like I'm just using parts of the scale to move up the different inversions. just gives it that sound and now we're just going to do the same thing on the second degree so for gcf i'm going to do gcf in the right hand but i'm going to invert it so c f and take this g and put it at the top for second inversion i take the c and i put it at the top and i played with this inversion at the bottom Let's do the same for the fourth degree stack. B flat, E flat, A flat. Inverted. Second inversion. And the same for degree five. Now 
this is not to say that when you are on first degree i'm only going to use these these inversions that belong to this left hand and i'm only going to use these inversions when i when i'm on this side when i'm on second degree you know you don't always have to use the ones that quote unquote belong to the left hand the more you work on them the more practice you do you'll see what works which combinations sound good together um example the intro of love supreme mccoy tyner does kind of like this using stacks on one two and four and with different inversions in his right hand it does something like see by this example that he's using different variations at different times and at different points so you can get creative with that and see what works so now let's try to to create different uh, inversions and um, combinations now using it within the context of a song um i'm going to take a minor blues progression and and see how i can employ it it's good to practice it over a minor blues but any song that is modal these kinds of voicings work best Now I would like to invite something else and that is the idea of playing outside or apart from the tone center and um, a really cool um, idea that I transcribed from um, is the idea of actually voicing, I'm still using the scale, but voicing it differently inside. So what he does in the song Supreme Light, which is in C minor. So this kind of idea, even though it's still in C minor and the top note belong to C minor pentatonic, what is voicing here not really of C minor because you could have very well done something like this 
which would have been in the key right but instead he went so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to take the top note of f minor instead of doing something uh, diatonic within that mode or i'm gonna do if that makes sense so it's actually try as if i'm just using uh my right hand second inversion triads but obviously I'm, I'm gonna use my left hand as well so if I have a triad here I can do another fourth voicing at the bottom so these are just fourth voicing stacks usually fourth voicings have major thirds on top so we can do and then kind of slide our way back in so guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that it helped don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe well Otherwise, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.